wanna cut me down. I'm gonna send a blood, gonna drown a mind. I am brave, I am bruised, I am who I'm meant to be. This is me. Look out, cause here I come. And I'm marching on to the beat I draw. I'm not scared to be seen. I make no apologies. This is me. Welcome and good morning. Um, today we begin the commencement of the 95th anniversary of the Wesley High School. I ask that you stand and remain silent for the national anthem. Now we will have a prayer by Reverend Mona Christmas Fraser, the chaplain of the Wesley High School. Let us pray. Providential God, creator of the universe, we hallow your name for another day revealing your majestic creation, your inestimable love, your fathomless grace. We praise you for the blessing of life and with it the promise of your presence, provision and power. We praise you. Our hearts overflow with joy as the Wesley High School family rejoice in you as our God who by your hand has led us to these 95 years. For those whom you blessed with the vision and those who have carried the torch to the present, we thank you, O God, for the opportunities to influence young lives for good and to participate in nation building. We thank you, O God, for every challenge which has enabled us to become more trusting in you and resilient in our stride, we thank you, O oh God. And now, O oh God, of the past 95 years of this institution, 
pardon her errors and transgressions of yesteryear to the present. We pray that you continually enjoin this school to grow in love and joy and learn from each other more of your love, your forgiveness, your peace, that she may bear witness to the Lord Jesus Christ in demonstrating the power and courage of persistent hope for a brighter future. Bless her and prosper her in all good things as a beacon of hope for future generations. With thanksgiving we pray, in and through the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Reverend Mona Christmas Fraser, Superintendent of the Dominica Methodist Circuit, Chairman of the Wesley High School Board of Management. Mr. Hilarion Appa, Acting Principal, Circuit Staff, Reverend Janetta James, and Rev. Ja Ronald Charles members of the 95th Anniversary Planning Committee, members of the Board of Management, staff and students of Wesley High School, Wesley High School alumni, members of the Parent Teachers Association, all stakeholders, friends of the Wesley High School, all our virtual audience following in Facebook and YouTube. We welcome you to the 95th Anniversary of the Wesley High School. I am Meloticia Mills, your host for the morning. I am a past student and very proud one of the Wesley High School. We welcome an overview from the acting principal, Mr. Appa, who was also my French teacher during, his, during my tenure at the Wesley High School. Reverend Mona Christmas Fraser, Superintendent of the Methodist Church, Chairman of the Board of Wesley High School and Chaplain of Wesley High School. Circuit Ministers, Reverend Janetta James and Jean Ronald Charles, the members of the 95th Anniversary Celebration Committee, the Board of Wesley High School staff and students of Wesley High School, alumni, the PTA of Wesley High School, ladies and gentlemen, well-wishers, good morning. It is with great pleasure that I welcome you to Wesley High School for the launch of the 95th anniversary of our institution of learning. We have come together today to launch activities marking a significant event in the life of the Wesley High School, the 95th anniversary celebration of this institution which has shaped the lives of hundreds of young ladies in Dominica. Let us therefore take a moment to reflect on Founders Day. What does this mean? And why is it so important in so many, for so many people? The concept of Founders Day has its origins in the Bible. It started when God revealed himself to Abraham who became known as the founders of Judaism. Since then, the Jews believe that God made a special covenant with Abraham, and that he and his descendants were chosen people who would create a great nation. In recent history, founders they took a, pat a patriotic slant in fact, many countries have set aside a special day to demonstrate the level of reverence and gratitude that eventually 
engenders the premise of uh, patriotism or a profound love or appreciation for those who fought generally against abject colonial forces to create the condition and an emerging country, country of nations. The United States of America, for example, take great pride in celebrating and honoring their founders. So it is also in many countries in the Caribbean. In Ivory Coast and Ghana, in West Africa, Founders Day are set aside to celebrate and honor the people who led these countries to independence. Founders Day is also perceived at the institutional level. Many institutions here and abroad show gratitude to the founders at a specific time of the year. At Wesley High School, Founders Day occupies and remains a very important day in our calendar of events. It is an awesome day and a great opportunity for the teachers, staff, and students to meet the board, past students, and well-wishers to plan, to celebrate, and to commemorate together our main founders. Reverend Eury and his daughter Marjorie Eury, and those who, over the years, brought their contributions to the construction of this important institution. Ladies and gentlemen, the celebration of the 95th anniversary of Wesley High School will set the momentum for the next five years. The COVID-19 pandemic has forced us to launch our celebration online. However, by God's grace, we hope to execute, to execute everything we have planned. So the program of activity that we had planned on to, to observe the significant milestone. Thank you for your presence. Thank you, Mr. Akpa, for your contribution. Now we move to a beautiful rendition by Ms. Kellyanne Coppell, a teacher at the Wesley High School. Not 
for a moment did you forsake me after all you are constant after all you are only good after all you are sovereign not for a And after all, you are constant. After all, you are only good. After all, you are sovereign. Not for a moment will you forsake me. Not for a Thank you, Miss Kellyan. This was absolutely beautiful. I thought you were only a math teacher, but you have other skills. Now we're going to have a brief history by Miss Marita Hyacinth, former teacher of history and ICT at the Wesley High School. The symbol nine, in some customs, is interpreted as a symbol of teaching others through your own life example. Spiritual awakening, inner wisdom, intuition. The number five symbolizes major life changes, making important life choices and change, lessons learned through experience, intelligence, and fortunate new opportunities. For a school to reach 95 years, it means the path, the born, and build towards the century. It's like a cricket match. When a player reaches 95, the onlookers wait with anticipation for the next ball, where the player would reach the century. Well, my task here today is simple. Today, I'm the television replay person who would give you a short games of the 95 years runs of the school before its drive to the century. The Wesley High School is a Methodist high school. The Methodist involvement in Dominica can be traced back to 1800s. By 1833 in Dominica, out of a population of 1938, only 574 children received education. This was chiefly done by the Methodists in Sunday schools. This was because the Methodist Church has always been instrumental in championing the cause for empowerment, equality, and education. However, compulsory education was mandated by England in 1880, and that education was spread across the island by various denominations. In Dominica, the provision of education was still elitist curriculum, and access was very heavily reliant 
on one's religion, class, color, or gender. This sad line, the people of Protestant faith, females and low-income families, the limited availability of schools, especially beyond the primary school level, intensified the class divisions in Dominica. This institution was born out of a great desire for Protestant young women to gain access to secondary education. So therefore, by 1926, here you have Ms. Marjorie Airy Branch, with the support of her father, the Superintendent Minister, Reverend C.G. Airy, creating a small school for girls. Ms. Marjorie Airy became the first principal of the school and named it the Wesley Private School. And, the first, and this school was first housed at the home of the Methodist minister. The school started with eight students, names Irma Bellot, Phyllis Gowie, Aileen Shillingford, Nevista Nesty, Helen Melinson, Marjorie Roberts, Rosemary Roberts, and Gwendolyn Robin. So 30 years, this school grew and operated as a Wesley High School and the Wesley High School Preparatory Prep School. The prep catered for boys and girls and existed up until the end of the 1960s. The school was occupied in the Cross Street building, but after the destruction by hurricane, the school was housed at Chateau on Hillsborough Street. Then, this was a one-floor building with a basement. By 1944, the Krushik building was once again in operation with a wooden one-floor structure, which housed both the prep and the high school, with a combined total of about 20 students. This building was later consumed by fire, and the prep section moved to the Anglican Hall called the Emery Hall, and the high school again returned to Chateau. The main building on Cross Street was rebuilt and expanded from the late 1950s to present. It continued to house the upper forms of the school and the Chateau, the lower forms. The only interval when the entire school was housed again at Chateau were the four years after Hurricane David in 1979. This caused a great damage to the main structure of the building. And at that time, the chateau accommodated all forms at a shift system. The Cross Street building was later again restored and dedicated in June 1983 under the principalship of Ms. Paula Mafferin and the then superintendent, Minister Selwyn Vanterpool. During this era, it would have shown the change from many other principals who came from England. And now we have many other, other principals thereafter from the West Indies and local. Names such as Mr. Max Andrew, Mrs. Patricia Mack, and Miss Irish. Miss Hermian Irish was the longest serving principal, serving for 26 years from 1994 to 2020. Ms. Irish was also a past student of the Wesley High School. She served principal until her death in 2020. The school has had a rich, vibrant history of staging numerous theatrical performances, choral speeches, and choirs. This school was known for its arts. All of these arts events were staged in the upstairs of the school where a stage is located and was equipped with theatre lights. Many of the past students, members of the Methodist youth groups, would have remembered the name Mrs. Manalu. It was on that very same stage, famous playwright Steve Hyacinth acted for the first time under the direction of Reverend Neville Broody, who also did a lot of Easter plays. It was there the Methodist youth group of actors tasted the joy of theatre 
and later founded the New Dimension Theatre. The group performed on the West High School stage for its 80th anniversary, the play Desired Will, and featured past students like Miss Evelyn Coppel and Miss Octavia Prosper. Wesley High School participates in many extracurricular activities and is known to have had formidable netball, football, basketball, volleyball teams, producing a number of athletes and national players like Onisha Deluge, football and netball, Nahima Africa, football, netball, basketball, Christine Maxime, football and basketball, and Chanel St. Rose, basketball and netball. The school also had junior monarchs, participants like Nia Burnett, Joy Pear, and Tara Daru. Held numerous shows and events like the yearly masquerade cocktail ball, which was first held on Friday 19 December 2014, and the Miss Fitness in 2015. The school's sexy performance has been over the years above 70%, with a constant rate in a number of subject areas, thus producing students in various fields. For example, Ms. Milma Raphael, product content designer at Facebook, Dr. Germain Jean-Pierre, who has a PhD in management information systems, both women in ICT, Singola Williams and Nadi Rolando in the legal sphere, Mrs. Eudora Shaw, a past student and even a teacher at the school. Deborah Coffey, Michaela St. Rose, Dr. Chanel David, Dr. Keisha George, Soraya Jones, Dr. Rosemont Salt, all in the medical field. P.S. Mangja Fagan, P.S. in the Ministry of Environment, Rural, Modernization, and Kalinago Upliftment. Ms. Palestrina Roll, Indira Constant, at the agricultural unit. Judy Etinoff, Yvonne Alexander in the field of national security. And you have business owners like Clemica Etienne, owner of the Diamond View Spa. Nabina George, owner of Tauda's Exclusive. Sheila Cadet, creator of a healthy and beauty products under the Body Bell line. And the list continues. As seen, with the history of the school as a Methodist institution has a strong tie to the Methodist Church. The present superintendent of the Methodist Church, Reverend Mona Christmas Fraser, is the chairman of the Wesley High School Board and the chaplain of the school. The Wesley High School incorporates symbols, teachings, and heritage of the Methodist Church, beginning with three sports houses, Airy, Gilbert, and Barrett. There are three houses who show the names of the Methodist heritage. For example, Gilbert and Barrett are the names of Methodist ministers who made the mark on Methodism and its beginning in the Caribbean. Airy is a name that would represent Miss Marjorie Airy and her father, Reverend C.G. Airy. The school crest, which is now located on a tie, a change that was made to the uniform during the 90th anniversary of the school. The crest contains the church conference badge. The conference badge was designed by Reverend Claude Cardogan and has become the most recognizable symbol of Methodism in the Caribbean and Americas. Ladies and gentlemen, I do hope you took in a tip of the historical iceberg of the Wesley High School and really appreciate its 95th and its future journey to the century. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Hyacinth, on this brief history of the Wesley High School. I believe our audience have gotten quite a bit of information. I mean, 95 years is a lot of years to celebrate, and there's quite a bit of history here. Okay, now we have a special presentation by Miss Natasha Yiloy Labard.
past student of the Wesley High School. It is also good when our past students return to their school to give back. So if you notice, 95 years we are celebrating quite a lot of achievement with our present and past students. A pleasant good morning. Happy 95th anniversary. And my name is Natasha Eloy Labad. It gives me a great pleasure to address my alma mater on this their 95th anniversary and under the theme Overcoming Challenges, Building Resilience and Sustaining Excellence. I am a past student of the WHS as we affectionately refer to Wesley High School having attended for five consecutive years, graduating in 1998. And I am very pleased to give this very short but special student presentation. And this year the theme truly resonates with all of us. And I think it is absolutely profound as our school, like so many other institutions around the world, grappling with the impacts of COVID-19 as a pandemic um, life in the 21st century. And so it seems like only yesterday that I stepped into the halls of my alma mater um, back then in what is still today called Chateau. And um, Chateau have weathered many storms, um, including the great Hurricane David and Maria and a hurricane Natasha or two. But um, as second generation students, I really want to say that I was offered a wholesome and traditional high school education which featured both academic and vocational competencies um, and curriculum highlights. And um, I really believe that I thrived under the tutorage and direction of competent and capable staff members, um, lapping up stories of the great Shakespeare, participating in debate clubs, representing the school and contributing to the school days magazine as PRO, talking about the teenage affairs of the day of the 90s, enjoying my time with the Duke of Edinburgh Award scheme, which I am very proud to have been able to travel to Jamaica and St. Lucia to participate in hiking activities. And today I am still a proud holder of the Duke of Edinburgh's gold, bronze and silver award accolades. As you can easily imagine, I had my full share of fun and learning with the occasional passionate undertakings which from time to time would take me to the principal's office. And I can still recall Miss Irish's patience and calm demeanor as I tried, of course, to wiggle my way um, and myself out of a demerit and even a detention or two. And um, the instruction from you know, both Miss Irish and teachers like Mrs. Barron and Miss Dorset and Miss Joseph and Miss Capitole and Mr. Akpa and Mr. Bruni and so many others um, are truly unforgettable. And it really, you know, kind of catapults me back to even some of those rep report card comments which I believe are iconic um, report comments like great student who needs to pay more attention during class was a popular and classic feature including comments like a lawyer of the village and mediator of them all. Today as I reminisce about the past I feel a sense of accomplishment over what I believe to have been time well spent. There is also an additional feeling of pride as I look back on these school memories with fondness, that lesson of a sense of pride coming from Wesley High School where my family actually contributed to the buildings and the donation of the buildings like Shatsu and even the manse, um, 
I feel that that has built in a sense of purpose and really guided me through my career as a master trainer and development consultant. If ever there was a time to say thank you, it really is now. And I want to encourage the educators, future students, um, contributors to the Wesley High School in the spirit of our school, school's motto, which is striving for excellence, um, to continue to give your best and your very best every day, including my alumni um, past students, class of 98. You know, the responsibility of overcoming challenges and building resilience and excellence rests on the shoulders of all, all of us. And so I want to take this opportunity again to thank Mr. Akpa and all of my past teachers for the role they have played in building not only the school, but in building the character of thousands, hundreds, thousands of students. Morale, pride, and for preserving that sense of hope for a great future when I was yet just a child. As we work through the difficulties of the 21st century, storms, pandemics, recessions, mauvais temps, as we say in our local parlance, we all understand and recognize that the only way is to continue to strive for excellence. And again, on this 95th anniversary as a past student of the class of 98, I really want to underscore that overcoming challenges, building resilience, and sustaining excellence must become a way of life. As we look at the students who are now going to be online learning, this is a new opportunity. Of course, we know that there will be challenges, but I want to again underscore that we are striving for excellence. So again, happy 95th anniversary to Wesley High School, to the principal, to the staff, and all of the collaborators and supporters of the Wesley High School. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Labard. Um, your presentation took me back to my days at the Wesley High School. I mean, it was a very, very fun moment. The acting principal now is Sir Akpa, who was our French teacher at the time. Um, we had Mrs. Irish, who was the principal, very, very soft-hearted lady, but she cared about us deeply, and we knew that. Even if we gave her a little hard time, I was known for being a talkative one. That doesn't mean you, the student, should be one also. But um, look at us here back. Mrs. Labad is back to give back. I'm here. Who knows? By the time the 100th anniversary is back, you will be back to give back to your school also. Now we're going to have the kickoff, which is launching of the anniversary celebrations by Miss Reverend Mona Christmas Fraser. Chairman of the Board of Management. Mr. Hilarion Akpa, Acting Principal of Wesley High School. Circuit Ministers, Reverend Janetta James and Reverend Jean Ronald Charles. Members of the 95th Anniversary Planning Committee, members of the Board of Management, staff and students of Wesley High School, alumni, members of the Parent Teachers Association, friends of the Wesley High School, and our virtual audience following on Facebook and YouTube. I greet you well on this singular occasion 
I am honored to share in this launch of the celebrations of the 95th anniversary of the Wesley High School. 95 years is a major milestone for an institution, as it is for any individual. We pause and we say, to God be the glory. Great things God has done. Our celebration is a time for rejoicing, as it also is a solemn occasion to pause and look back at this 95-year journey. We do so to offer thanks to God for his providence and provision. To remember those who planted the seed, those who watered, and those who continue to water after 95 years, including our faithful and dedicated staff. And we must pause and remember the remarkable contribution of the late Hermian Irish who sat as principal for 26 years. We pause to celebrate the excellence of many who have walked through this noble institution, emerging to make their mark in this country and across the world, to nurture those who now within our school family, and to seek the wisdom of God as we propel forward. It is a moment to look ahead at the mountains we must still climb and the waters through which we must swim. We salute Reverend C. G. Airy and the founding pioneers of blessed memory. It is as a result of their tenacity, Wesley High School was born in 1926, enabling Protestant young women to gain access to secondary education something which was almost non-existent for them at that era in Dominica's history. It was a very modest beginning, with eight students being housed in a room of the Methodist Mission House, the home of the superintendent minister of the Methodist Church, as his residence was then called. It was a modest but important beginning. In the coming weeks and months, of this year, we will reflect on how faithful we have been to the vision and ideals and to seek to continue rewriting the vision for the school for this present age. Yes, there is a shift in vision. This school that was birthed to offer hope to Protestants has fulfilled that mission. Now we strive to be an institution for sustained social and educational transformation as we prepare our young ladies for excellence and offer hope to those of our young ladies who otherwise might be denied matriculation elsewhere. In so doing, we celebrate the many significant achievements over these 95 years, glimpses of which will be shared throughout our celebratory activities. So we redesign ourselves for the challenges and opportunities now presented. All the problems seem to have mutated and new ones have arisen. And our toolbox, our responses must accordingly evolve. As we press to the centenary mark, our strategic planning will be paramount in providing a sound platform for the institution to constantly rethink our outfits, our systems, and our responses to this present age. As the winds of change, educational change, blow across the world, so here we are in virtual classrooms in 2021. Here we are celebrating significant events, training sessions, convening meetings, all virtually. The compass then must be deliberately set to chart our institution in the direction of information, communications, and technology. We forge ahead then, seeking to be wary of providing time-worn answers to new hurdles 
especially in a fast advancing digital world. Seizing the windows of opportunity that open only once, knowing that opportunities lost can never be regained. We still have a lot to do as the Wesley High School, and we will do it. One success at a time. 95 years later, our mandate remains as relevant as ever. The motto of the school at its inception was, at it, all at it, always at it. And does this not echo what it has been, the driving force at Wesley High School, which is now driven by the motto, striving for the best? I launch us then from a quotation from Aristotle, and I quote, Excellence is never an accident. It is always the result of high intentions, sincere effort, and intelligent execution. It represents the wisest choice of many alternatives. And so in expanding our aspirations, as we celebrate in this 95th year, I encourage all stakeholders of Wesley High School to be progressive forward-looking, to be responsive, embracing our community and its needs, to be selective, realizing that it would not be realistic to try to be all things excellently to all people, but that we can grow selectively to be excellent in key areas. We celebrate and give God thanks that in spite of the challenges faced with the coronavirus pandemic, we can still celebrate today. And we take our time now to encourage all to keep safe, to look out for each other with a spirit of neighborliness and love, and to make our decisions not for our own self-interest, but for the common good of all. In a spirit of excellence, we trust God for a prosperous future as we strive always to be an institution fit for the 21st century. I say congratulations to Wesley High School. God's divine favor be upon the Wesley High School. It gives me great pleasure to launch the celebrations of the 95th anniversary under the theme Overcoming challenges, building resilience, sustaining excellence. I thank you. It is official. The 95th anniversary of the Wesley High School is here. And we are going to celebrate under the theme, overcoming challenges, building resilience, sustaining excellence. And what a momentum time for us to use this type of theme. We have the pandemic recovered from hurricanes. We have had so many unforeseen circumstances happening recently. And these things are challenges that we are trying to overcome we are trying to be stronger, and yet we are still trying to maintain excellence within our populace. So, as part of the kickoff, we are going to give you the schedule of our anniversary events. Grab a pen, grab a paper, take notes, because it's events that you would not want to miss. And who's better to give it to us than Miss Jean Jacob, past student? The uncertainty of the COVID-19 pandemic 
has its impact on the initial activities planned for the observance of the 95th anniversary of the Wesley High School. And as such, some activities will be done virtually. However, this momentous occasion will not go unrecognized. This institution, the Wesley High School, has been a beacon of light in this country and has provided and continue to provide quality education for young ladies who otherwise would have been, been denied the benefit of a secondary education. The planning committee has organized activities which will span basically over a nine month period. That is October 2021 to June 2022. These activities are intended to highlight the versatility of the Wesley High School over the years. The planned activities are as follows. During the month of October, the official launch which is taking place today. On October 15, the Founders Day service which will be streamed live. On October 29, an exhibition will be mounted. During the month of November, a virtual awards ceremony will be held. In January of 2022, the school will embark on a community outreach project in a selected community. During the month of February, a concert will be held showcasing the gifts and the talents of past and present students of the Wesley High School. Current students will engage in a Jeopardy competition in the month of March. Other significant activities include a pleasure fund for which a more banking account will be set up to facilitate this activity. The Herman Irish Scholarship Fund will be launched. And under consideration is the Founders Day Lecture Series. The 95th anniversary celebration activities will climax in the month of June 2022 with the launching of the 95th anniversary magazine. We look forward to the support of all past students, parents, current school population, the PTA, well-wishers, and the general public. We pray God's blessings on these activities and on the Wesley High School. Thank you. We have come to the end of our program, and I would just like to say thank you to all the persons who have been involved in making this day possible. We have the viewers, the listeners, um, the, the chaplain, the school body, the alumni, every person who was involved in this one way or the other. We want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And now that the program has been launched and you know what to expect on this 95th anniversary of the Wesley High School, I urge that you pay close attention and take part. If it's virtual, log in. If it's face-to-face, -face, which is hardly ever now these days, <laughs> I would expect you to follow protocols and participate willingly. It is our school, like I always say. It is just a building without anybody in it. But the persons in it is what makes it a school. Again, I say thank you. Thank you. Now to close, we are going to have a prayer by Reverend Mona Christmas Fraser. Let us pray. And now, O oh God, it is into your hands that we come now committing every plan that you have enabled us to make. We do so, O God, trusting you, as your word have called us to do, to trust you with all our heart, to lean not on our own understanding, in all our ways to acknowledge you, 
and to allow you to direct our paths. And so God, except you lead, we would not know where to follow. You have led us this far, and God, you who have promised, will not leave us and will continue to do so. And so God, we pray your blessings upon every activity which in your wisdom you have allowed us to write. We pray, O oh God, continued wisdom and guidance upon the planning committee and all those, O oh God, who through each event will allow themselves to be used to bring each one to fruition. Lord, we pray that through it all, Wesley High School will be strengthened. Her witness, O oh God, will increase. Lord God, we pray that through it all, we will learn, O oh God, how to depend even more and more on you. And now, gracious God, we commit ourselves into your keeping, that you, O oh God, might lead us from strength to strength. And may your blessings, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, continually be with us now and always. Amen. What more fitting way to end the ceremony by singing the school song, We Build Our School on Thee, O Lord. Oh.